Hey guys, what's up? Good to see you. Excellent application of the eye black. I love it. Thanks. I did mine in a real macho kind of way. I was like, <clears throat> yeah. He was like, I, don't, I want it to look like I don't care. Yeah. yeah right? it's all he went you high. Took I went low. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. I don't know about you, Tiki, but I am so excited for this weekend. I'm a big football fan, as you know. Where will you be watching, uh, watching the game? I will actually be in CBS watching it from the broadcast center. I'm going to be uh, paying attention, as everybody is, to the big stories that are going on around this game. I mean, the Super Bowl was always fantastic, but this is the first time that the actual home team is hosting the Super Bowl. The yeah. Tampa Bay Buccaneers taking on the defending champion, Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> I can't, is that okay that I do that? I can't help but yes, shimmy. I love that. Shimmy. It makes me feel good. Okay, so go good. ahead. That's what you, you inspire. Do, Ross, go ahead. <laughs> All right, let's talk quarterbacks. It's the Buccaneers against the Chiefs yep. this weekend, and everyone's talking about the GOAT, Tom Brady, versus the future GOAT, Patrick Mahomes. Now, what's the most exciting thing about this matchup, Tiki? Pat Mahomes is the second coming. He's the new face of football. He's, he's a good-looking kid. He's biracial. Um, he has already got a Super Bowl MVP, a league MVP, and he's trying to take Tom Brady off of that mantle, which he's been sitting on for two decades now. So it's a great storyline. It's also going to be a great matchup as well. Patrick Mahomes apparently like watched Tom Brady when he was six years old play for the New England Patriots, and he really admired him. And so I think that just adds this like awesome Shakespearean cool level of you're going against <laughs> someone that you idolized as a kid. Tom Brady's never been more on top of his game. He proved to everyone that is with all due respect to his team and his coach that he can do anything anywhere at yep. any time. Mm -hmm. And so I think the pairing and I know Tom Brady has said just the nicest things about Patrick Mahomes. So if you love but you're having to, you know, fight, it's just like. Oh, it's just so rich, and I'm so excited. And it's all about legacy. I think this is Tom Brady's 10th Super Bowl. It could be his seventh win, or Patrick could get his second win in a row. And I think the history will be made in, in the Super Bowl, not only in the game, but during the halftime show as well, Tiki. We know the, week, the weekend is pulling out all the stops for this performance. He spent like $7 million of his own money That's to make right. it amazing. Um, and Pepsi just released a little promo. This is a glimpse. Take a look. We're seeing this for the first time. What we create changes us. Every performance, a new chapter. Every stage, a new beginning. I think it's going to be great. You've been to Super Bowls before. What do you think makes a great halftime show? I think that the energy and the, the, the performers who come and they give it to everybody there. Now, the crowd is only going to be 22,000. It's not going to be full capacity. Oh, but I think wow. everybody's going to be excited about the weekend. But it's a good thing it, it's not on a Monday because the weekend would have made sense. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you, Tiki, with a joke. It could be a three-day. <laughs> oh, yeah, three I mean, most people weekend. take Monday off anyways, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Nobody knows what the days of the weeks are anymore. Right, um, good point. All right, we have to talk about the main event, uh, which is the other main event. Uh, I'm a big football fan, and I love the Super Bowl, and I watch it every year, but I also love the commercials. Preach. <laughs> and this year it's going to be different because biggies like Budweiser are sitting out and donating the money instead to vaccination programs, but we still got some surprises, and we're going to look at a sneak peek at one uh, right now. Amazon is relaunching their Alexa with a brand new shape and look, and they premiere this steamy ad on Sunday. I you haven't ready, seen guys? It. Yeah. Alexa, dim the lights. <laughs> Alexa, lights up! Alexa, lights up! Add bath oils to my shopping list. Alexa, no, don't do that. <laughs> Alexa, do that. Do I that. mean, I'm like, boy, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, it was a Michael B. Jordan, right? Yes. Yeah. Tiki, what do you think when you see? Look, that? are they are they going to allow Alexa to take on the voices of some of these stars? Because I know Patrick Dempsey is my wife's like it guy, and he's filming something in New Jersey right now. So I'm like, don't go, don't go, don't go over there. You don't need to go watch. You don't need to go watch. <laughs> that that actually made me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> I felt for the husband. It's probably <laughs> not for a straight male. That said, <laughs> I will say. 
say this. Um, I am terrified. Like, I have my Siri off. Her and I aren't besties anyway. I am Orwellian-phobic. I don't want stuff being listened to in my house. I'm not into the Orwellian, like, voice mechanisms in my house, so... When you sell it as Michael B. Jordan, it makes it a little more enticing. Yeah, yeah how you'll listen to him, for sure. Before we go, we're going to do a rush of fun facts about the Ooh. Super Bowl. Oh, fun. Oh, well, there you go. OK, <laughs> Tiki, you're our quarterback. So three, two, one, hike it. There we go. All right, here's the first one for you, Drew and Ross. First, this is the most viewed halftime show of all time. Is it A, Lady Gaga, B, Janet and Justin, Ooh. or C, Katy Perry. Okay, so I want to say Lady Let's Gaga because, you know, it's the most recent of the three, but I think it's uh, Justin and Janet. That was the one everyone talked mm -hmm. about, remember? When they, oh, I'm going to go A, Gaga. Okay, I'm going to go Which is weird because we always pick the same thing. Okay, what, what is it, Tiki? Yeah, you're both wrong. It's Katy Perry. What? Got 120 <laughs> million viewers. Lady Gaga was a close second yeah. with 117 million viewers. I think YouTube of Janet and, uh, and, and Justin, that was probably like 5 billion views. But yeah. next one. 52% of people surveyed say that they will give up this for their team if, they, if their team could win the big game. Um, is the answer A, their annual bonus, B, a year of vacation days, or C, their entire 401k? I have to think it's vacation days, right? Are you giving up money for your team to win? I'll go with you, Rossi, on vacation days. You're lock us in you on are B. both correct. Yay! Congratulations. 52% of people say that they would give up vacation days. 31% said their annual bonus, and only 3% giving up their 401ks. Yeah. All right. Because I like the Seahawks, one. but I like the coin, too. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one for you guys. By the numbers, this is the most popular halftime Super Bowl snack. Is it A, pigs in a blanket, B, wings, or C, pizza? I think it has to be B, wings. Everyone's in the mood for wings on Super Bowl Sunday. B, wings. Okay. Congratulations. You're both correct. Yeah. It is B, wings. Oh 1.4 billion Wings will be consumed on Sunday. Did you say 1.4 billion wings? 1.4 billion. 1.4 billion. Many, now, how many we're still trying to clarify. That? Can, uh, it's a lot. Alexa, That's a lot. can you well, divide that by two? Um, I, I have to say that this was so fun, and we've been looking forward to this all week. Tiki! And we can't wait for the big game, and we'll be with you in spirit. And um, thank just you guys. thank you so much. Tiki Barber! Thank you, Tiki. Great to see you. Great to see you guys hey. again.